there's a lot of theories of, of the Gimlet cocktail. Uh, uh, kind of the biggest one that people talk about is Thomas G. Gimlet. He joined the, uh, the Royal Navy in 1879. He was a surgeon, and um, the, the two competing stories, one is that he was encouraging the, um, the sailors to take their, their lime juice rations by mixing it with gin, because they would be far more likely to drink, um, to drink gin than lime juice. Um, the other one was that he was trying to moderate consumption by kind of cutting the gin with the lime juice. In any case, um, he died in 1943, and by that time, the Gimlet cocktail had become very popular, but it didn't mention that in his obituary. And he was also part of a book called Who Was Who, for, uh, it was like 1941 to 1950 or something like that, and they mentioned him, they had a biography of him, and they did not mention this cocktail. So probably not, probably not, that's where we got it. Um, I mean, really, when you dig into cocktail history, there's a lot of fantastic stories, and a lot of times we don't really know. So, I, um, spoil alert, we don't really know. <laughs> I'm just telling you some theories. <laughs> um, um, there was also a tool that kind of looked like a corkscrew that was used to open up the containers of lime juice that were on the ships before roses was, was produced. So this would have been lime juice that was fortified with really funky Jamaican pot still rum to 15%. If you mix that with gin, that's gross. So I don't, I don't think that that, is, that that is it either. <laughs> um, the, uh, the Gillette cocktail, Chicago style. Uh, I really actually like kind of any mention of this book. This is kind of remarkable. This guy, Tom Bullock, who is out of St. Louis, the first uh, African-American to ever publish a cocktail book. So he was a prominent bartender in 1917 in St. Louis. Um, anyways, he had a Gillette cocktail, um, which was Old Tom Gin, which was kind of a, a, a mild, slightly sweet gin, fresh lime juice, and sugar. Now that's what we call today a daiquiri, right? Um, the gimlet being specifically reserved for gin with lime cordial. Um, and, uh, but you know, Gillette, pretty similar, kind of similar. Um, and then the, um, in the Savoy cocktail book, uh, there's two mentions, the gimblet, which is very similar to the, um, to the, the Gillette cocktail, except it has soda in it. So it is, um, uh, actually, that one doesn't have sugar, so it really is a lime ricky. So you've got gin, you've got lime juice, and you've got soda water. And that is traditionally what a, what a ricky is without the, without the sweetener. And then they also do publish a gimlet cocktail. So now here we're seeing there's similar names but not exactly the same thing, and they have a gimlet. And that does spe specify equal parts Plymouth gin and Rose's lime cordial. Um, first actual printing that we know of, of the real, of the like true recipe, but obviously in 1930, not the first occurrence. Mm -hmm.